A and B are independent events. It is further given that the probability of A and B is 0 0.3 and the probability of only B is 0 0.2. And then 12.1.1 says, are uh, A and B mutually exclusive? Motivate your answer. Before we solve any problems, we need a Venn diagram, right? A Venn diagram just makes things more extremely easy. So the probability of only B, it is said to be 0 0.2. And then the probability of A and B is said to be 0 0.3. And then the probability of only A, uh, we don't know it, right? So let's just put X here. And the probability of neither A and B, let's just put Y at sort of uh, our circles, right? 12.1.1 uh, says, are A and B mutually exclusive? Motivate your answer. What do we mean when we say two events are mutually exclusive? Two events are mutually exclusive. If they cannot occur at the same time, if you toss a coin, you cannot get tail or head simultaneously, right? So the events of getting head and getting a tail are mutually exclusive because they not, cannot occur at the same time. But then in our instance, the probability of A and B is 0 0.3. Three, so they can occur at the same time, right? So they're not mutually exclusive. So the answer here will be no. And why are we saying no? The probability of A and B is not equals to zero. It is actually equals to 0 0.3. 12.1.2 says, uh, determine the probability of only A. Uh, we have the probability of only B. Uh, probability of a and b and then we're looking for the probability of only a or x on our uh, venn diagram right so from formula we know that uh, the probability of a and b is equals to the probability of a multiplied by the probability of b so what is the probability of a and b it is given to us right it's 0 0.3 and this is equals to the probability of a which we don't know right but then after we found the probability of a we're gonna be able to use it to find x right because the probability of a will basically be this 0 0.3 here plus x right and then multiply by the probability of B. So let's look at B. The probability of B is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, right? So we're going to have 0 0.5 here. So the probability of A will be equals to 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5, which is equals to 0 0.6. So we have the probability of A now. We want the probability of only A. The probability of only A is this x here right so we're saying basically the probability of a is equals to the probability of only a plus the probability of a and b you can see it on the diagram here that the probability of a will be the probability of only a plus the probability of a and b so that will give us uh, 0 0.6 is equals to probability of only a plus uh, 0 0.3 you take 0 0.3 to the other side uh, you're gonna get uh, the probability of only a uh, being equals to uh, 0 0.3 but then after you find the probability of a to be 0 0.6 you can just write your answer because it becomes obvious now that uh, the answer will be 0 0.6 minus 0 0.3 uh, but you can just solve it as well and then now we want the probability of not a or not b the probability of not x right uh, is basically equals to one minus the probability of x right so now we're looking from the probability of not a or not b so this will be equals to one minus the probability of a and b right in this instance we're gonna have the probability of uh, not a or b or not b uh, being equals to one minus probability of a and 
B. We know fully well what the probability of A and B is, right? Is this 0 0.3 here that I'm circling. So we're gonna have 1 minus 0 0.3 being equals to 0 0.7. So the probability of not A or not B is 0 0.7, right? It will be the probability, it will be 1 minus the probability of A and B. Now let's move to 12.2 says a teacher has five different poetry books so let me just write here five uh, poetry and then four different drama uh, dramas so let me just say four drama and then uh, three novels so let me just write three novels here and then she must arrange these 12 books from left to right on the shelf fine uh, 12.2.1 says write down the probability that a novel will be the first book placed on the shelf so she has these 12 books right she puts a blindfold on what's the probability that she will pick a novel she has 12 options right and of those 12 three are novels so the probability of her picking a novel will be three divided by 12 right and then 12.2.2 says calculate the number of different ways uh, these 12 books can be placed on the shelf if any book can be placed in any position so when she wants to pick uh, the first book right she has 12 options and then when she want to pick the second book she has 11 options right and then uh, the third she is 10 and so on until she's only left with one book and she has one option of how she can arrange it right so basically the answer here we have 12 factorial right uh, which will be equals to some number you can just put that on your calculator and then 12.2.3 says that uh, calculate the probability that a poetry book is placed in the first position uh, the three novels are placed next to each other and the drama is placed in the last position okay so right we've already established that if you want to peg all the books you have 12 factorials right because you have 12 position 12 11 10 going down until you're only left with one position right on our numerator we're gonna have the probability of the events we are interested in the first case is placing a poetry book first so how many poetry books we have we have five right so the probability here will be five because we have five poetry books and then the next event says uh, three novels are placed next to each other so how can you place three novels next to each other you can place them in three factorial ways right so we're gonna have multiply by three factorial because you can start with the first one start with the second one or the third one and then the second position so on so we have three factorial ways of putting three novel books and then the next case is a drama is placed in the last position right so we have four drama books right and then we want the probability of placing them in the last position the probability of placing the four drama books on the last position will be four right so it's just the number of the drama books just like the probability of placing a poetry was just the number of poetry books so when we have placed this book we still need to place the rest of the books right so in position number one we have placed uh, is a drama we have placed a poetry book right and then in position number 12 we have placed a what um a drama book right so we have drama here so we are left with um 10 positions here right of these 10 positions uh, we need three novels to be following each other right so we're gonna be left with basically seven position plus a bundle of three uh, novels that we need to be placed uh, next to each other right so how can we fill these eight positions that are left right we can fill this eight position in eight factorial ways so here what's gonna be left let me just erase this i will be multiplied by eight 
factorial and then if you put that in your calculator you're gonna get your answer